We're here at White House Machine Tools as part of the Push Stock campaign. I've got a question for you. Would you make this particular part on a lathe or a milling machine? And we're going to find out more about the Brother M300 X3 machine. Now, let's just talk about some of the features here. We've got some of the keyways in the slotting. We've got the bore through the center. We've got different threads. We've got a flat as well. So what machine would you make it on? Paul? Well, you could look at that and think it's a turning center. It's got a turning center written all over it. But if you had a turning center and you wanted to make that, but you wanted to make something like this as well, you wouldn't be able to do it. Whereas this particular model, this M3, uh, this Speedio M300 X3, is ideal for both of these applications. You're really excited about this machine, Paul. Uh, yeah, I've seen one or two of these, in fact, more than that, I've seen them at Emo and AMB. Now, the technology here really is something else. They're super fast, as you'd expect with the Speedio machines. They're five axis machines, but they're also turning or well, they've got turning capability as well. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that you could be wanting to do parts like you've got there, uh, and you can then put them through a machine like this, but then you can also adapt, and you can do components that are more prismatically formed like this one here. So you telling everybody it's time to start rethinking the way that they're machining by considering this machine? I'm saying that every machine shop has problems, and one of the problems is looking at components and thinking, what machine is that part suited to? Do I need to buy another machine in order to do that component? Or should I be looking at buying a machine that can cover as many angles as possible? And with something like this, you know, you'll be able to see this in action, the five axis capability, machining five faces on prismatic parts. You know, with, with components like this, you can interpolate the bores, you can turn the bores, you can machine all the pockets. And then what you can do is you can simply say, I've got a, a round part here that I need to turn and I, it's a bit of stainless steel and it's, you know, it's, it's just under 300 diameter. Can I do it on this machine? Well, yes, you can. Right, I've got some negatives to throw at you. Is it going to be as powerful? Yes, the, the beauty of a machine like this, certainly with the X3, is the, the power of this machine from a turning perspective. The turning motor is very powerful. One of the things when you look at components, turning them on a turning centre and then milling them on a uh, turning centre is people often say, well, the milling capability isn't as strong and as robust as a machining centre. And that's true. It very rarely is. Whereas here you've got the turning power, but of course you've also got you know, a spindle taper here on this Speedio machine that is more than capable of milling stainless steels, titaniums, all kinds of different materials. So you've, you've almost got the best of both worlds. Perfect. So you've got to contact White House Machine Tools if you want to consider a new way of machining with the Speedio M300 X3. Are you happy? Yeah.